all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video okay 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 here we are again uh top 10 best characters in street fighter duel so i need to do a updated version uh in future i plan to do like top 10 teams and maybe like team strategy uh in the tier list i will try to make it happen as best as possible now when i'm at uh 25 50 uh 25 40 uh, chapter i learned so much more than the previous top 10 uh characters that uh that i did um i learned so much about the strategy about the team building about certain units that are key to progress so i just need to do this updated version because the previous one i don't agree with myself on that one honestly but still it was solid but still not good enough okay so let me start let me start first with the characters that i am 100 certain that i use that i constantly use and that carried me so much maybe in some tier i will put put multiple characters and i will explain why because in that way i will also explain a little bit the team building and everything else okay so i believe it will be a lot uh more clear for you also so let me start um so the first top one character in the game will be definitely bison i don't need to explain myself now when i even maxed him out in a sense to the sss when i got his spirit to plus 20 um he is a monster overall with his revive and then dealing damage with that he is unkillable crazy dps also like he does so much aoe damage single target like but mostly you're gonna use that most of out of his damage you're gonna use on that revive and especially when you unlock um his one second boom if i go here especially when you when you unlock this plus 20 okay on the spirit because then he will do overall three times uh aoe damage pretty much with the revive and then when you do the combos he will do additional and additional damage so overall he is a monster especially when you do this and yeah he is the best unit in the game in my eyes still so madryu has really fallen off guys <laughs> um last time i put him like the best character in the game but yeah he is probably one of the best characters for the early game but and a little bit of mid game but when you enter like the the middle of mid game towards the end game he will fall off and that's a fact okay okay that's about that uh why, why did i click on this uh fine uh let's see the second best character in the game will be on the third place elena on the second place it will be gore magala ken i i didn't use his potential but let's get real when he's max maxed when he's maxed he's right beside bison no joke whoever uses him they completely dominate he can stun right he can do automatically crazy combo he's much faster than on he's faster than cn and taiwanese version if i'm not mistaken um damage on point buffs everything this guy has everything but he's one of the most pay to win characters in the game uh and that's why he's uh, like rarely someone will use him just because rarely someone used so much money to sss him and everything else so he's one of the most like if not mo the most pay to win character in the game and he's limited but definitely he dominates when you see him in the team mac uh, if you're facing against the team and you see him maxed out you're done bro with the bison and everything else if they have uh, gormagala maxed out they have everything else maxed out and that's insanity so he will go here in the second place on the third place will go elena hands down why because she she's that special character that you can literally use her in any type of team literally any type of team with the healing with the buffs most of the time you're gonna use her for that heal for example i always use for example fashion blanca aoe damage with her super uh, then uh elena for the heal then i go with um again for example with fashion blanca 
I, I completely destroy everyone with again aoe attack and then i finish it up um, for with uh with lee combo three for example or whoever you put in your team you just play around with this stuff okay it just depends so she will go in the third place in the fourth place believe it or not um i will put here fashion blanca why because this character carried me through the game so much guys this he is tank first of all but at the same time insane dps character when you do this like he passively stacks up uh, on your opponent and even when you unlock certain level of his spirit i believe he also puts wildfire on other teammates here it is that flame and more stacks there is of flame he will do bigger damage with his super and with his uh combo three if i'm not mistaken or combo yeah combo three i believe it is with this uh yep combo three uh, oh oh it's like combo combo one okay it says like combo one okay sorry so this is like super is three and then that's uh that's second and this is okay one and two combo and passive okay <laughs> i got a little bit confused but anyways yeah combo one this is it boom this this does such a big damage when there is a flame stacks and uh, with that he literally can demolish trust me watch my live stream supreme every single activity he will demolish with his d crazy aoe dps you he is he is usable everywhere now in that same spot i have to put multiple characters b zangief goes also here or we can put him in the fifth or play around I i'm not sure but maybe i'll put him here in the fifth uh for now but like all of those characters are really close three four five really close you know really hard to say but b zangief really deserved that spot because of his interruption and stun like uh, when you build him up properly uh he will be one of the key characters that you want to progress with his i don't say it wrong this time i believe this is the one yeah this is the interruption and this is the combo too and he also have a base chance to stun plus super armor when you level that skill up and everything else so with his interruption stuns and still really good damage and he's pretty tanky he's not squ he's not squashable uh, he's not easily destroyed I wanted to say squashable unit but i don't know if that's even a word but still fifth like fourth fifth i can even put them in the same tier because it all depends on the strategy that you that you're gonna use what i heard that 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 uh characters that carry also is guild so you can also switch between those characters guild can be also used when uh fully built up or at least build up really close sss everything else he's that also crazy aoe damage dealer the same i heard for combat guild i still didn't use enough combat guild to talk about this uh but guild i used a little bit but he's still not he's like what s plus not usable for me yet so uh, let, let me just put it like this for now okay or i can even put like this but still not 100 percent sure about combat guild because i didn't use him but what i heard he's literally carrying people through the 29th chapter so like towards the end game he's destruction with also normal guild so maybe they deserve the same like fifth spot here in my eyes okay <sighs> kame 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 like um she will go here just because maybe she deserves even a higher spot i'm not sure i didn't use her enough but i gathered enough of information to talk about this um she is the best dps character for a single target in the game hands down plus she can heal up and crazy critical rate so i believe she deserves in the top 10 but based on this information i didn't use her maybe if i use her maybe i would put it even here i don't know for now i put it put it putting it right here okay uh, who else who else who else bro mm. <laughs> lee lee would go around eighth place i'm like constantly changing her up like i, I don't know how what to more i build her up like now she's already two star more i use it 
still uh she can be destroyed easily but sometimes you need you need that speed you need that like also her combo tree like when i use the combination of fashion blanca um bison elena with chun li she's doing such a wonderful job uh because with her i believe that's the one or is this the one no that's like the passive yeah i believe this is the one no where is this anyways there is a combo tree i don't know why it doesn't say it here like with the skill but for example when you use uh first um fashion blanca then you use heal from elena then you use another fashion blanca and then you can use lee and then she does like that single target attack but actually if you gather opponents closer like you can with fashion blanca let me say like this then she does like aoe crazy damage plus the speed energy bo boost it's insane character okay i'll put her in the eighth place um Kame, I will put her with her. Pretty much, she's every she's similar to her, but everything single target. And still, I see people using her a lot towards the end game when she's fully built up. Really hard to say uh, who is deserving that seventh place. Uh, but here, I will put like Jen, another really good. Uh, he does the shield plus the, the crazy good damage. I didn't use him enough, but from the information I gathered, definitely top ten characters okay mad Ryu, i will put in 10th place now uh, maybe a lot of you could uh, disagree now but still overall in the game when you look at it he's a free-to-play character still usable in uh, certain activities especially if you don't have single target dps and he can deliver he can generally deliver against the bosses uh, against shuttle of city when needed oh, okay whatever you can use whatever on shuttle city but still he will carry you against those uh single enemies and bosses definitely he will do impressive damage he has fallen off especially like in the challenges he gets he will trust me guys until 2440 and that mission he can still carry but after that he will start falling off from the 25 ch uh, chapter to 2540 he will start really fall off but still overall in the game i need to put him in top 10 okay uh, who else should I put here? I believe like Rose and Jury definitely deserves to be here. Maybe even above uh, Lee and Kame. I'm not sure. Still, are uh, really hard characters to build up. Like Jury is more free to play than Jan in a sense because you can get a lot more uh, Jury copies for free. But these those characters need to be like built up and really hard to do it, especially like Kame. Uh, but oh 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 viper she is dealing like third spot with alina i almost forgot about her omg how that's happened uh she is that top three character in the game for sure she is also that unique character that can be useful in any type of team just like alina especially as as assist like for example when you unlock this plus five um his uh, her spirit she'll do additional damage with that character you you link it you link her so uh she's that unique plus uh also you can put her in any type of key team for additional dps damage and against bison teams like here like here she will do insane both with both of her combos crazy aoe damage i like it but like assist she will help you like insane she's that one of the key characters that you want to use maybe just maybe i can even put it like this huh yeah i don't know something like this you know i can switch between we can play around but that's pretty much she's such a unique character because of that like when you have her spirit plus five she'll do that insane aoe damage when your character which she's linked with uh attacks and also she gives that insane attack buff and overall hp buff why not but especially attack so again wiper is one of the craziest and most unique characters in the game prove me wrong um now abel deserves to be somewhere here in the mix also is one of the best anchors like i didn't even put the right anchors so definitely 
like Abel, Honda. We can put them somewhere here in the eighth, ninth place. We can play around like this. Dalsim, this day is top 10 in Myers. Also Blanca right here. And everything else here is really good, but I think they don't deserve top 10. Uh, really close. Cody overall. I mean, I know now like top 10 tier list and now I put more characters into this. But I just wanted to show like the concept of thought here. It's really hard to specifically tell who is the best, who is the second, who is the third. But in that way, I was able to explain you some key characters in this game that I believe it's going to be really helpful that you understand that some characters are so much useful that they need to be here. And they're so special, like Elena, Viper, Bison can also but still really hard to get uh here also b zongif i believe maybe like this yeah i'll put it like this just because of that interruption that literally that can carry okay so i made this tier list a uh, maybe maybe like this you know i don't know somewhere something like this yeah something like this Yeah, and now it's really hard. It depends on situation. So you can play around with this top 10 tier list. But this is basically it. And now I'm much more satisfied what I delivered with the top 10 tier list. Um, I try to do it as best possible and as clear as possible. So it can be helpful. Also, Makoto, I just don't use her enough, although she's a really valuable character. But I, I didn't fully max her out yet, so it's hard bro this tier lists are really hard in this game but i believe i with my explanation everything else everything is clear and i believe um yeah let's put it somewhere something like this all depends on situations let's end it here so i don't complicate furthermore uh if i would say like literally top 10 let me call like this bison ken elena viper fashion blanca b zangief Gil, Jen, Jen could be even like here, like top six. Then Lee, Rose, Jury, Kame, Dalsim, and then you can switch between those tanks and everything else. But all of those characters are broken, top tier, um, and that's it. Like, literally. Whoever I put here on the tier list, from your also feedback is top tier, especially towards the end game. Okay, I'll end the video here. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Love ya. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, see you next one. Bye.